I'd like to speak about chronic illness because so many people think they become the illness and that is not true you know it, you start identifying with the illness I am disabled I am um, suffering with it's it's a story that you repeat over and over and you tell anyone that will listen I have fibromyalgia and and therefore I can't I can't I can't and you reinforce the stories that you tell yourself you disempower yourself the way that your language relates to your dis-ease now your body consort is there because it wants you to survive it, it wants you to have a long life where it can be at ease and feeling itself and exploring the world through its senses it, it loves to work in harmony with your mind and your spirit and when all three uh, are in balance you're a really really happy healthy soul you know and when people get a dis-ease it's it's very often where people have had a life where they've experienced trauma which is not the experience itself, but it, what, it's what happened due to experience, the experience, the, the event that happened. It's the consequences of the event. It wasn't the event. It wasn't the getting raped. It's the memories of the rape. It, it's, it's, the, it's the sensations that are still stored in your body. It, it's, it's not the being beat up it's the anxiety that it might happen again and the memories of it happening and it's how you have been affected by the incident it's not losing your job um, due to being bullied it's all the memories connected with that created the loss of the job there's there's all sorts of things now this is why grief and trauma uh, are really closely related and grief is what's happening when you're you're so it's an, a, a grief is a whole bundle of emotions that you experience due to having lost something you were familiar to, with and something that you believe that you should still have and that belief that it's never ever going to be the same again or you're striving to get it the same as it it was the thing is nothing is ever 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 going to be the same as it was because what is was has passed now it could get similar to what was and it can get better than what was but it can't ever be the same as it was that back then or those happy memories it's up to us to empower ourselves to tune into the present moment and recognize we're not here uh, so we are here in this present moment where we can feel joy and happiness but we're not any longer the person we were before the event we have changed and those changes can't be undone what can change is how we move from this moment how we accept ourselves in this moment and how we move forward into a life that it who knows what's waiting for us it could be the best life that we've ever had so I thought my life was over when I lost my sight and I, I lost my my dexterity and I had a stroke and I, I lost my memory in so many ways and I couldn't talk properly and I thought that was it I thought I was done for 
and by then I'd already been living with a chronic illness for a very long time and I was in incredible pain that that I just couldn't give it a score where I couldn't sit lie do anything without this incredible pain and it, it was so painful that I couldn't think without thinking of the pain and I sit here today pain free and I have my dexterity and it wasn't a miracle it was my relationship with my body that changed my relationship with myself enabled me to do what things do things that people thought was impossible impossible is I'm possible and you are too so regardless what it is that you've experienced in your life that takes you from wherever it was whatever horrific thing that those stories that really did happen and we're not going to deny that but those things that you have been through that led you to today it's your story but it doesn't mean it's how you've got to continue living it means it's a way of there's ways of empowering yourself so taking what was and meeting yourself now and working with what you've got to to completely change your quality of life some people have complete miracle cures and some people just go on to get a more more of an inner peace as to where they're at you know it's it's all about acceptance and that's where we begin through taking responsibility for where we are in this moment and stop see, stop um, having that thought that everything's done to us and we've got no control because we've got so much more control than we, we even dare to think about. And the scary thing is we've got so much, there's so much out there and so much in here that can take us from where we are that it's, it's not something people often talk about because there's so much lack and limitation in, in connected with the mindset some people call it a victim mindset some people say it's you're a victim of your illness well how about you could find a way to live with your illness or with that dis-ease and change your life like and it doesn't happen overnight you have to be willing to put some work in and contemplate things and question things but when you start at the beginning with the self you're able to see what you can control and what you can't and when you recognize what you can't and you're able to just let go and say well actually I can't control that but I can control this in this moment you start recovering your power that power you was originally giving away to whatever it was that that held you in, in that place for such such a, a long time uh, and I, I'm talking it can go on for decades it can go on for a lifetime if you let it now I'm here and there's many other people like me who are able to help you re-empower yourself and move from your state of being to a new state of being a healthy prosperous life one that you just didn't see that was possible <laughs>